Wherever you find tourists, you also find money exchange services. Tourists use these money exchange services to convert their own country's currencies into Hong Kong dollars to spend in Hong Kong. Every country has its own currency. For example, there are the Chinese renminbi, the Japanese yen, the American dollar, and the British pound sterling. To us, all these foreign currencies are forms of foreign exchange. Apart from touring abroad, when we buy foreign goods at home, we also need foreign exchange. It is just that the foreign exchange is paid by the importers and not by the general consumers. So in day-to-day -day economic activities, there is often the need to convert Hong Kong dollars into foreign exchange. In the converting process, exchange rates play a part. Take the Hong Kong dollar and the US dollar as examples. We exchange 7.8 Hong Kong dollars for one US dollar. So the exchange rate is 1 US dollar to 7.8 Hong Kong dollars. Of course, it could be said that the exchange rate is 1 Hong Kong dollar to 0.1282 US dollars. But the usual practice is to say how many Hong Kong dollars to 1 US dollar when we talk about the Hong Kong dollar exchange rate. If we compare the exchange rate to the prices of commodities in general, what shall we find? For example, if the price of an apple is $3, we have to pay $3 to buy one apple. Likewise, when the exchange rate of the Hong Kong dollar to the US dollar is 7.8 Hong Kong dollars to 1 US dollar, we have to pay 7.8 Hong Kong dollars to buy 1 US dollar. So exchange rate is really just a price. Only what we buy is not a commodity, but another currency. Consider a Japanese-made video game that is priced at 10,000 yen in Japan. If the exchange rate is 1,000 yen to 60 Hong Kong dollars, it should sell at 600 Hong Kong dollars in Hong Kong. Assuming that other factors, like the cost of production and transport fees in Japan remain the same, and the only change is that Hong Kong dollar has devalued and the yen has appreciated by 10% to an exchange rate of 1,000 yen to 66 Hong Kong dollars, then the same video game would sell at 660 Hong Kong dollars in Hong Kong. So, if the Hong Kong dollar is devalued, the price of imported goods in the local market will go up and the livelihood of the citizens will be impacted. Conversely, if the Hong Kong dollar is revalued, the price of imported goods in the local market will go down, but this will adversely affect the export of Hong Kong. Take the locally produced educational electronic products, which are very popular in the European and US markets as an example. Say if a piece of educational electronic product is priced at 700 Hong Kong dollars and the exchange rate is one Dutch mark to 3.5 Hong Kong dollars, the product has to sell at 200 Dutch marks in Germany. And if all factors remain unchanged, except that Hong Kong dollar has revalued and one Dutch mark can now exchange for 2.8 Hong Kong dollars only, the same product will have to be sold at 250 Dutch marks. The price of Hong Kong products in overseas markets will be higher and their competitiveness against products from other countries will be weakened. Hong Kong exports will decrease. As said before, exchange rate is the price of a currency and the way it is determined is no different from the way the price of a commodity is determined. According to economic principles, to put in simple terms, the price of a commodity can be determined by the supply and demand of the market or by government policy. The first pricing method is similar to the one used by the market to determine the price of vegetables, whereby the price floats with an increase and decrease in the supply and demand. The second pricing method is similar to the one employed by the Water Supplies Department of Hong Kong. The Water Supplies Department fixes the charge of water for trade purposes at $4.58 per cubic meter. So which mechanism is used to determine the exchange rate of the Hong Kong dollar? From 1935 to 1972, there was a fixed exchange rate between the Hong Kong dollar and the British pound sterling. From the middle of 1972 to the end of 1974, the Hong Kong dollar was linked to the US dollar instead, at a fixed exchange rate. From the end of 1974 to October 1983, the Hong Kong dollar floated freely. In the beginning of the 80s, the issue concerning the future of Hong Kong resulted in the loss of confidence in the Hong Kong dollar, causing it to depreciate dramatically. On the 1st of July 1972, one US dollar exchanged for 5.913 Hong Kong dollars. 
but on the 24th of September, 1983, Hong Kong dollar plummeted to a low of 1 US dollar exchanging for 9.6 Hong Kong dollars. The Hong Kong dollar crisis not only impacted the financial market, but also affected other sectors of the society. Lots of citizens converted their Hong Kong dollar deposits to US dollar deposits. Some even withdrew US dollars in the cash from the banks. There were citizens who scrambled for commodities in the supermarkets so as to avoid holding Hong Kong dollars. To stabilize the exchange rate of the Hong Kong dollar, the Hong Kong government began to adopt a linked exchange rate system on the 17th of October, 1983, fixing the exchange rate at 1 US dollar to 7.8 Hong Kong dollars. The government chose the link to the US dollar because the US was the largest trading partner of Hong Kong at that time, and the US dollar was widely accepted internationally. Since then, the system has been in place in Hong Kong. From 1983 till now, the operation of the linked exchange rate system has been improved in response to needs. In this program, we'll concentrate on talking about the mechanism that prevents the market exchange rate between US dollar and Hong Kong dollar from deviating from the linked exchange rate. In Hong Kong, coins are issued by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, stored by and distributed to the public through an agent bank. Transactions between the HKMA and the agent bank are settled against US dollar at the exchange rate of 7.8 Hong Kong dollars to 1 US dollar. Banknotes in Hong Kong are issued by three commercial banks. When these note issuing banks want to issue new banknotes, they are required to submit to the HKMA an equivalent amount of US dollars exchanged at the rate of 1 US dollar to 7.8 Hong Kong dollars in return for certificates of indebtedness. Only after this can they issue new banknotes in Hong Kong currency. The HKMA will place the US dollars received with the exchange fund as a reserve to back the banknotes newly issued. When a note issuing bank wishes to withdraw its banknotes from circulation, what has to be done? The HKMA will redeem the certificates of indebtedness with an equivalent amount of US dollars exchanged at the rate of 1 US dollar to 7.8 Hong Kong dollars. In that case, the Hong Kong dollars in circulation will diminish and the foreign exchange reserves held by the HKMA will diminish accordingly. One important feature of this note issuing mechanism is that all banknotes and coins in Hong Kong currency in circulation calculated at the linked exchange rate have an equivalent amount of US dollars in reserve as backing. This ensures that the Hong Kong government will not issue banknotes in excess, thus enhancing the confidence of the citizens and foreign investors in the Hong Kong dollar. On the other hand, the HKMA has made a definite pledge to the banks, promising them that they can convert the sum of balances in Hong Kong dollars of their clearing accounts maintained with the HKMA for US dollars at the fixed rate of 7.8 Hong Kong dollars to 1 US dollar. If funds move out of Hong Kong, the demand of Hong Kong dollar by the market will shrink and the Hong Kong dollar will be under pressure to devalue. The banks can sell Hong Kong dollars to the HKMA at the rate of 7.8 Hong Kong dollars to 1 US dollar. As the supply of Hong Kong dollars in the market shrinks accordingly, the interest rate of the Hong Kong dollar will rise, reducing the outflow of funds from Hong Kong and consequently stabilizing the exchange rate of the Hong Kong dollar. Conversely, when funds flow into the Hong Kong dollar market, the market will buy Hong Kong dollars with foreign exchange. When the market demand on the Hong Kong dollar grows, pressure of an increase in exchange value of the Hong Kong dollar emerges. When banks are conducting transactions for their clients, they can use US dollars to buy Hong Kong dollars from the HKMA, and the HKMA will place the US dollars received as reserves in the exchange fund. When the transactions are done, the supply of Hong Kong dollars grows in the market and the interest rate of the Hong Kong dollar will decline. Hong Kong dollar deposits will be less attractive than deposits in other currencies and the desire of bringing funds to the Hong Kong dollar market will be smaller. This will neutralize the pressure caused by the inflow of funds into the Hong Kong dollar market and stabilize the exchange rate of the Hong Kong dollar. Owing to the implementation of the linked exchange rate system, the government cannot use interest rate as an instrument to regulate economic activities and the domestic monetary policies have to follow those of the US. However, since 1983, the linked exchange rate system has managed to stabilize the Hong Kong dollar and the financial system of Hong Kong in face of political and economic upheavals.